Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to update uh, the Warped Guides which, which we already did like 7 months ago so after the 7 months a lot have changed in the game uh, many different aspects have uh, uh, reworked or updated regarding skills on how to exchange or what kind of builds in general are good on the Warped so it's time to update our guides for every single uh, Warped in the game uh, first one will be one of the most popular warpets uh, in, in the entire game simply because you can use this warped in many different hero pairs uh, which is blue uh, Fedric, uh, Sapphire Fedric, right? So let's dig uh, inside and let's find out why this uh, Drake is so popular even now, right? And it will be popular in the future. Uh, first of all, uh, as always, let's speak about attributes. And in general, I need to say that try to get legendary warped. Like since the level of uh, warpets on the map is increased, it's getting kind of easier to get the legendary pet. If not, try to regenerate, right? Uh, your main attributes you should look for in Safar Fedric is intelligence. Uh, spirit and luck. Uh, main one is of course intelligence, simply because on the main skill, uh, Sapphire Ferdrick has intelligence uh, in, in its play kit, right? So, uh, as I said, try to get a legendary one. As you can see, there is a big, big difference. Like S, 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 S. Like I got even unlucky that I have uh, two A grades, right? But still. Uh, great warpets whenever they are legendary ones because you are getting a lot of S quality attributes and these attributes actually matter it's one of the most important things uh, for the warpet uh, to collect right uh, regarding skills main skill of the sapphire Ferdrick is pain bloom basically it's a uh, damage magic damage factor skill which is determined by intelligence so uh, higher intelligence you will have, higher damage factor uh, the Pain Bloom will have, right? Uh, the new addition of the uh, Warped system is that right now we can get uh, with one star uh, the Warpets, right? And my advice would be to get uh, the main skill on the one star at least. I know it's pretty hard, uh, like I have only uh, one uh, skill or like second one uh, with the star. So, like, this star gives a lot to the skill, right? So, try to get this star, uh, like, one star skill at least, and then build the warpath in general. Uh, in my opinion, first of all, whenever you get the uh, Sapphire Frederick, uh, you need to uh, upgrade the skills, which is synergistic to its skill set, right? Which is uh, Pain Bloom, uh, Forceful Pain Bloom. I spent a lot of coins uh, to get uh, one star uh, Forceful Pain Bloom. It will be better, uh, better that you're going to finish the pain bloom line in general right and the third one is like split pain bloom which i don't have unfortunately so if you will be able to get uh the pain bloom the forceful pain bloom and split uh, pain bloom that will be already amazing right the next one i think which is really really important and great skills uh, is the follow-up which is basically you are getting 40 percent chance to uh, recast your uh, skill of the warped which is like damage or healing or shielding doesn't matter and it also gives you crit right and this follow uh, follow up skill uh, can be upgraded into rustless follow up and of course the third one uh, would be super follow up right that's that's my playstyle don't look at the maniac might I am of course I'm gonna change it and the another skill which I would suggest is a resonance which I currently don't have warped skill magic damage dealt uh, determined by spirit as I said uh, um, intelligence spirit and uh, luck is the main attributes for this hero so pain bloom uh, three pain blooms is important the follow-up like three follow-ups uh, upgradable follow-ups everything is good then I would go with resonance and after that, uh, even Magic Fortune can be fine, uh, simply because you are getting crit rate uh, uh, with this Magic Warped skill uh, damage, right? And it's determined by luck, which means that you can fit it in the build. Also, uh, you can always go with Elemental Harmony, but it's kind of hard because you are only able, able to get uh, three skills of the same attribute. And right now, like uh, Pain Bloom is Intelligence, 
uh, forceful pain boom is intelligence and follow up is intelligence. I would not swap follow up for elemental harmony uh, in my opinion, right? Like here, I, I have almost full build, full, full build. Uh, only with what I'm missing is like third pain boom skill, third follow up skill. And the resonance. Resonance is pretty good skill, and if you are, if you will get it, don't sell it, save it. You will 100% use it in the future. This is the uh, like skills which I would prefer to play with the Sapphire Fair Drake. Uh, they are kind of good. Like uh, what you want from the Magic Warpet is to deal as much damage as possible. So like pure damage here is great thing to have, right? Right now we can speak about hero pairs, and when we're gonna speak about hero pairs, we're gonna understand why this warpet was so popular, right? First of all, it's a magic warpet, which means uh, uh, Sapphire Ferdrick can work with any single mage unit, right? Which is Waldir, for example, Welin, for example, uh, Let's continue. Alwyn, for example, right? Like, even Lilia, you can use uh, Sapphire Fair Drake with Lilia. So, like, we uh, we just counted every single mage which is in the game uh, that you can use uh, with Sapphire Fair Drake with. And you can, like, additionally, you can use Sapphire Fair Drake with Thea. You can use uh, that Drake with Atheus. Uh, so, like... Simply because it's a flying warpet, you can use with every single um, hero, which is like uh, in a flying tier and mage, right? Like and in general, with celestials, Thea and Atheus is great, right? Uh, mobility, uh, flying uh, heroes, and Sapphire Fire Drake is flying too. Currently, uh, I'm using with Walder uh, because I'm playing with Spring Wardens and I don't have Celestials, uh, which is only for League of Order. So, like, currently I'm using uh, Walder and Welin as a hero pairs, and my Sapphire Fire Drake is in with Walder. So that's the main uh, reason why uh, this Drake is very, very popular, simply because you can use it in uh, many different uh, hero pairs, and like even in the future, whenever we get uh, Bertrand and Dohar, I'm pretty sure you can use Sapphire Fair Drake with them, especially for Bertrand, uh, because Bertrand is a flying hero, and it will work. But like... Uh, main and exclusive uh, warpet for Bertrand is Shadow Fair Drake. I think Shadow Fair Drake was made for Bertrand, but still, uh, the uniqueness of the uh, Sapphire Fair Drake is in that that you can you use that warpet in any uh, different uh, situations whenever you you wish. Right? Currently, I'm not playing with uh, flying unit mages, and that's why I'm using it on a wall there, uh, and I'm pretty happy about this. Right? Um, in general, this is all I wanted to say regarding. Sapphire Fair Drake, right? Uh, like in general, warped guides are pretty small. You don't need to speak uh, like in more and more details about it, right? It's pretty simple synergies. Um, I'm gonna make a one by one guides with every single uh, warped. Um, first one was Sapphire Fair Drake. We're gonna move with Fair Drakes, and of course, with the addition of Night Rock and uh, Bruinbear. Uh, I'm not gonna make a, a guides for them because they are just new additions and I just made the guide for them like a couple of uh, months ago, like even Shadow of Edric and Bruinbeer I made one month ago, so they are the new ones. I'm gonna make uh, guides for the old boys, uh, who are we familiar already and with whom we have experience that we know how they work, and I'm gonna just show my opinion about them, my views. And of course, guys, if you're gonna have different idea, uh, different opinions regarding those uh, warpits, please share. It's always interesting to talk about the game that we are all passionate about, right? So, yep, yeah, this is all I wanted to say regarding Sapphire Fair Drake. Uh, like, catch it, try to make it legendary, you will be happy too. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna continue what I have been done for like many, many months already. If you like the content, uh, please click on like. If you like in general uh, my content, uh, I will be more than happy to see your subscribe because it brings smile on my face. Thanks a lot and bye bye. See you very, very soon.